How the Digital Revolution Can Tackle the Climate Crisis Life has changed almost beyond recognition in the last few decades. Artificial intelligence, AI, has substituted entire job fields. Intelligent software can now review legal documents, a job which was previously only carried out by lawyers. Machine learning means technical systems can pull together entire libraries of information in a single handheld device. Virtual spaces now exist where people from all over the world can share, connect and chat instantly. In 2019, it's clear that digital innovations will continue to change society and the economy, but it's uncertain whether these new technologies will benefit the global transformation to sustainability. Will digital technologies allow everyone to live in a world where their development isn't dependent on exhausting finite resources and increasing emissions? Chirp chirp. Who's there? It's early bird tickets to TNW 2020. Come in. There is certainly reason to be optimistic. Digital technologies can make energy and resource use more efficient. By analyzing the optimal amount of water each crop needs and by using a smart irrigation system accordingly, farming can become infinitely more efficient. Digital systems can assess the optimal use of vehicles too. Instead of one person owning one car which is only used for an hour each day and then sits parked for the rest of the day, several people can share one electric car, reducing the number of vehicles needed overall. For the first time, digital technologies can comprehensively trace, document, and analyze each resource and product as it flows across global supply chains. This could create circular economies, in which resources such as water and rare earth metals arrive where they're needed and waste such as plastic rubbish doesn't escape to pollute the environment. Digital monitoring can help scientists to better understand how ecosystems around the world, such as forests, reefs and glaciers, are changing in real time. This can help conservationists understand how to protect and restore the environment, while ensuring that governments and private companies are held accountable for their public commitments to preserve natural habitats. The Global Forest Watch already does this. It's an open-source web system that uses satellite data to monitor forest. For more on this story, visit the news article link.